Well, there's so much uh, I'm really looking forward to to what will take place this year, and uh, you know, and there's there's uh, there's so many people. This is this is this is a, a very different twist to the artists in residence, and I think that it's. Uh, I got to I got to hand it to them for accepting me as the artist as well. Um, I didn't really think I would be because it, it. I know it's an art form, but convincing others that it's an art form, they they're, they're just going to look at it as commerce. But there's nothing wrong with that either. Mm -hmm. um, but commerce and art work so well together. Um, art therapy is one of the greatest things out there and and that's what this this can be um, for the store owners whether you're busy or not you could enjoy your day engaging in, in your your shop rather than worrying about selling selling and if you do that then there's there's no there's no way that it can't propel itself because then you're going to think about okay how am I going to let more people know how about how great I feel about this store you know, rather than the worry end of it. So, um, if I can just sort of put out there as clearly as I can, I have the brochures which mm -hmm. are good and clear, For sure. um, but I'll ramble on a bit yeah. here about what the program is to make sure that that gets across because it's very important that people do know about this, otherwise if you threw a war and nobody showed up, that would be pretty dull. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're throwing a war uh, against uh, average shopping. We're going to rev this up a bit. And what I want to do is do five um, uh, lectures. One's on um, uh, store layout and, and inspiration within the store. Then we're going deeply into inspiration and prop making and where to find inspiration and how to use cheap things and even expensive things to to uplift your, your store and where to go um, for those um, things um, and uh, placement and the principles and elements of design within the first two lectures all that and then we're going to get into prop making and um, uh, we'll have workshops where I'll be bringing in some supplies and people will bring in some tools and um, and we'll be uh, uh, we'll be uh, creating some of these things, maybe not what they're going to want to need or, or need within their stores, but it'll open up their ideas as to what they could do with this idea. Uh, using a, a, I won't go into details about some of the propping, but it's easy enough to do so you could revamp it to what your own needs is what I mean. And then we're going to be working on um, a, a communal um, uh, prop, uh, a theme that will run through all the stores that want to be involved in the destination um, uh, Cambridge. So when you go and do the, the, the passport going from store to store and getting all that, you'll also see something in the windows or within the store that will be a running theme through all the stores. And um, I'd like to try and pull it together with the 40th anniversary of the three areas of Cambridge amalgamating because that's pretty prime. It's a good sure. year to be doing this. Um, and since I'm working the areas, the outside, the, uh, so many places, it, it's a good opportunity to really let everyone know. I just found out uh, that this was the 40th year uh, about a month ago. And I thought, well, that's definitely something we should work towards. Um, and then the last lecture will be on uh, setting up Christmas um, uh, within uh, towns, and that's going to be in September. But um, in September as well, we want to do a before photo and after photo of the stores. And we're going to throw a cocktail party here and have um, a lot of the stores are represented here with before and after shots and all these stores from the different areas of Cambridge all getting together and, and talking with each other. So say this downtown has a, a, an idea of what it wants to do all together and Preston's downtown does and, and Hesper's does, now they can get all together and maybe start talking to each other about what Cambridge could do um, to get people from Toronto, Ottawa, anywhere, um, Buffalo, all coming here to uh, check out this strong stated um, community that they will take care of. You know, and I'll always be around to uh, throw in my two cents. Oh, that's great. And so really it could be from 
uh, it could be a, a, a independently owned uh, grocery store, it oh, could absolutely. be a travel agent, yeah. it could be all of those things. Yeah, it's not just fashion and jewelry. And, no. And, and, uh, no, it's everything. It's yoga, um, uh, yoga clubs and um, um, grocery stores or uh, hardware stores, whatever. Yeah, um, value villages, that, that sure. type of thing. No, uh, uh, thrift shops, it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. And so often, you know, and, if, and sometimes you've got a, a national chain that will say, no, every store looks oh, exactly oh, the same. Yeah, sure. and, but you know something, I mean, just in the three communities of, uh, you know, Cambridge, KW, and Guelph, radically different people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, they oh, are so oh, different. It's so different. You know, and hey, we're 15 kilometers yeah, away, yet so they'll just tr throw a blanket of sameness yeah. over the entire country and say, yeah. this is our concept. Yeah. Yeah. Without addressing it. And, uh, you know, they got to be, they really have to be open to the fact that in different geographical areas, people are different. Yeah. And they oh, respond Oh, absolutely. Different. And look how close we are. And we are so different. Nothing yeah. like a suggestion box to yeah. just say, well, yeah. feedback. Yeah, that's feedback. good. That's good. Um, and feedback, I think, would be good for this whole concept, too, because it's, you know, sometimes yeah. people are uh, at the spur of the moment and they can't find anybody who will just say, I think this is great. Or they'll yeah. say, this has never looked the same. This has never looked better. You know? Right. And here's another thing I, I would really like to do even a couple of months into 2014. Contact all those stores and find out how they did that Christmas, that whole fall season. Uh, as compared to the year before. Because now if we've made this move and we've done this talk and we're walking the walk and we've got people, we're, we're hoping to uh, uh, engage more people down here, we should see a change in, in their, their revenue and then we can look at that and there's, there, you know, you can talk art all you want, but if there's more revenue, hey, you're a winner. Okay. You know, so um, uh, it could be good, uh, a good example of it actually working when when it's yeah. all right. And yeah, it can be the art of customer service. Sure. <laughs> I tell you, there's well, a lot of people that, could you know, use a yeah, a little bit more customer yeah, service. Sure. And, uh, anyway, it's been great chatting with you, and, you and uh, I, I'm looking forward to Destination Cambridge, and uh, we'll just see what the 40th year brings. Well, thanks very much. Yeah, I appreciate so much. it. Yeah.